Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Cyberpunk 2077. Last time we ended uh, early searching for whatever it was to end this mission for the Cyber Psycho. And I think it's on this computer. So, boom, we've got some things to read. Cut the bullshit. Back alley ripper. Got some bad implants. Pay or your head will explode. Oh my gosh. I'm a voodoo boy. Okay. You have two days to pay or they're gonna blow us out. Jesus. That's wild. Okay. Managed to take the cyber psycho alive, though he sure put up a fight, sending you the deets. Really glad you got him alive. Poor guy almost completely spiraled out before he even realized what was happening. Um, guess even uh, pneumatic arms can't lift uh, morale in a toxic workplace. Okay, those are really bugged. They're way out of order. <laughs> okay, what's our last message? From Okada. Cool. Just clearing those out. So at this point, I want to follow up with our girl Judy. So we're going to do that. Car's just too light. There's the radio. I should just have it turned off, huh? Fine, we're good. Don't know about that uh, civilian though. <sighs> it's getting on my nerves. It's getting on my nerves. 
This one's 19. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't do nothing. Well, that's cool. Freaking tiger claw sign right there. Mega Building H. Where even is this on the map? Oh, okay. Okay, I actually do need to check my settings. Oh my gosh, that song was probably copyrighted or something, wasn't it? Damn you, game, fuck you. Like, they, they, hmm. Alright, patch comes out in three days. Maybe they'll have some of these things fixed. Doesn't change the fact that I'm getting real pissed about my settings being reset every other day. Not even every other day, it's like multiple times a day. Like, after every crash, I have to check that. Like, that song that was just playing on the radio might be one of the ones that's copyrighted. And you'll all know it because it'll either sound one like shit, because I'll have it, like, partially taken out, um, or it'll be completely silent. That'll be fun to find out. The mystery. Fun stuff. Cool. It's amazing that this game can be so frustrating while I'm enjoying it so much all at the same time. It's wild. How'd they manage that? How'd you do that, CD? Just saying. Let's uh, let's get on top of fixing it, though. Okay, there's clouds. Let's go meet with our girl. Early morning, huh? Interesting little adventure we're going on here. Hey, V. Thanks for showing. 
Talking with Maiko is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Care to be a bit more specific? Wouldn't mind knowing what to expect. Expect everything. Miss a beat, she'll wrap you around her finger. Get you on her agenda while thinking you're the one in control. Hmm. Guess I know the type. Some deets about her could be useful. When I talk to her, don't you think? No. Leave the talking to me. <laughs> Alright. So, in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn. What happened and why. Think that'll cut it? You're gonna show her the virtues? No have to improvise from there you seem a bundle of nerves I have a mind to kill the bastard she's smoking still she's so yeah pick, pick the habit you back up I'm a teensy bit nervous I'm ready let's go hold on I'll open it Like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. Know how to get around their systems? Appears so. Was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Girls got Easy tricks. Easiest by yeah. Follow me. She's a badass. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yep, but I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the Mox. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Oh, damn. Consorting with a this persona is really catty. Who's very non grata. Yes, V. I mean you. Guess I left a lasting impression. Good. Paid you one visit and you remember me. My job, among other things, is to remember unsavory customers. Naturally, I take it upon myself to deal with them too. Now, how am I to deal with you? Was she the doll that was sent by... Uh, what's her you name? You have no idea how valuable my time is. Because I don't remember meeting her when we went to Clouds. Oh, don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. Judy has a proposal about clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the tiger claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay. I'm liking Maiko less and less. more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? Judy's idea? Think about it. Could work. Well, well, Jude. See, you found a true and loyal fan. You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen? T 
Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read negligible. Does it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely, Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. Alone. I'm not your enemy here. And I didn't ask for your opinion. Hey Martha, thanks for the date. You're a nice girl and I like you, but it's just not going to happen. Please don't take it personally, it's me. I realize that I'm not ready for a commitment yet. From Maiko to Martha. From Heart Solutions. Welcome to the elite service of Heart Solutions. As the sole service provider on the market, we take what we do very seriously. We know that time is money for our clients. That's why we guarantee you will find the right person within the next 90 days. If your future partner does not meet your expectations, we ensure a full refund. Uh, in order to help start your journey, we'll send you a questionnaire that will allow our algorithm to set to choose the best person for your first date. From Judy to Maiko, this is the third time I'm telling you, take back your precious sweaters. I don't have space for them in this substandard mediocre unit, lacking, uh, lacking that doesn't square with your ambitions. Might as well just send over one of the bimbos that keep circling you like flies, otherwise they're going straight to recycling because I can't look at them anymore. It's amazing how shitty your taste was. Clearly I wasn't just gonk but blind too. Did they date? Wow, okay. And I asked you to give me a bit of time to think about things and to give yourself a little time to cool down. I don't care about all that stuff. You can toss it out, but I'd like to come over and talk anyway. This all escalated so quickly. I feel like, in a way, it was a misunderstanding and maybe we brought up too much too quickly. It doesn't have to end this way, and even if it does, it doesn't have to be so all of a sudden. Far as I'm concerned, we're done talking. I've already buried it, and no way am I digging it back up again, not with you. You're just doing what you always do, buttering me up with promises you don't want to actually want to keep. Just tell me when you're coming and I'll leave a bag with your shit in the in the, on the front door. Don't ring the bell or knock, because I won't answer. Telling you ahead of time just so we're clear. Okay, and just tell you this. Toss that shit out the window. It's trash. I don't give a shit about any of it, and I'm not coming. Nice. You can afford to do that. Nice you can afford to do that. I guess that's what you do with everything. Throw it out like trash. No remorse, no regrets. If you find any of my shit, feel free to, to hand leave it on Jig Jig Street for the people who need them. As for your clothes, you could get jumped wearing this, so I'd rather just burn it. Okay. Tense. Old flame. Not good stuff, huh? Um, from Judy to Maiko again. You crossed the line today. Since when do I need permission to go into your office? Security contacted you, so don't bullshit me with procedures. It was your call. Just cool down and stop throwing a fit, or you'll get us both in trouble. I have to keep up some semblance of professionalism, which you've clearly never had to deal with. It cost me an arm and a leg, but I managed to elbow my way into a better position. Don't think I can't lose at all just because of a little carelessness. One little slip, and they'll toss me into a hole. I'll never crawl back out of it. Now you suddenly care about rules and appearances? Where were those rules when I tweaked the stats on the doll chip so you could jump up the ranks? I didn't just do that for your- oh man. I didn't just do that for your career, I did it because I wanted things to change. Only change I see is you becoming self-obsessed and lacking any conviction whatsoever, while everything else is just the way it used to be. You seem to be doing a fucking okay. That's your perspective, but I see what's happening on the ground. Change is happening. I really don't understand why you can't just trust me. It's not like I started out wanting to manage this place. Don't you know I'm doing this for us? I'm thinking about our future. I thought that would be proof enough of my commitment. Looks like for some reason it just pisses you off. Sue me, I guess. Congrats, Maiko. You've ascended and left me back here in the real world. Seems our perspectives don't align anymore. It's so obvious now that all this ambition you went on and on about was really just wanting power. Shame on me for not noticing sooner. I didn't think it was possible to hate this city even more, but you went you went and did it. Got yourself chewed up. I just hope when it finally spits you out, there will be something left of you. The old you. From Judy to Maiko. 
Took my work home because that sleazeball was standing over me the whole time watching my hands move. The fuck did that shithead think? That I'd clep some cables? Anyways, gotta go back uh, still today and set it up on the spot. I'd really just rather you just come back home. I miss you. Alright, this is when they were still together. Why don't you swing by the office? I don't have much going on today. Maybe we could think of a way to wind down and reward your hard day's work. The bartender brought me a, a few bottles of champagne upstairs and not the shitty kind. Uh, from some TC shindig. We could have our own private event, just you and me. Okay. Why does she come see you so often? She couldn't have just left it for you? If it was me, I'd sold it, uh, I'd have sold it for some extra scratch. After all, tigers don't drink your average piss. Look, I don't know what, what she wants, but I don't believe in that just being nice bullshit. Sit that bitch down. She's really starting to piss me off. I'll drop by later. Max is doing a party. It's May 13... May 13th, anniversary of Lizzie's death and the gang's creation. It's like our national holiday. Anyway, if tomorrow will be like last time, I just might get over the bitch. Woodman, too. I just hope your desk can handle it this time. Okay, I'll be waiting then. I can't focus on work anymore. If the desk falls apart, boo-hoo. I was thinking of getting a bigger one anyway. Just don't forget to come in through the back. Now that they have to face... Now that they have me to face up to, they'll be looking for any weak points. Which, of course, I don't have. Except you. Who knows, maybe they'll find something else. Like the pad thai you made last week that was too sweet. Besides, if I'm if I'm your weak point, then you have nothing to worry about. Because this solid ass weak point can take care of herself. I'd sooner worry about all your kinky fetishes and fondness for taking risks. Okay, that's a whole story right there. Okay, expenses. Unforeseen. We can ask the dolls to clean up after closing, but they'll put up a fight and won't even do it properly. You can let Forrest go. I'll happily take over his responsibility. There's so many typos in these. Like, guys. <laughs> Do not delete. It's a picture of Judy. J.A. Judy Alvarez. Do not delete. She keeps it on the computer. I see you. You picked the wrong side, Michael. I'll be the judge of that. That went smoothly. She totally blew us off. Don't worry. She put on an act. Her computer days down says the line, so. She'll call and tell you her plan to take over clouds. As if it were her idea. You might be onto something. You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back that as their works. friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could've gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah, you, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow, I don't see it. No, me in a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Man, the air in this place is, uh, gross. They need a good HVAC.
Come down. Wait a sec. What about Woodman? You sure he's gonna be there? You met Michael. If that prick still works here. It's cause he follows her orders pretty damn precisely. Hello, next oh. city. This is Joel What do you want to do? I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there is no face. Somebody. I'm down. Fine. Want you to do it. I thought you might want to do it. Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end him. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. <laughs> Maintenance level. All right. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Michael? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. What's up, man? Where's Maiko? Why'd she fucking call me here? Evelyn's dead. Come here just to tell me that. It's fucking kind of you to remember. Here. Go light a candle. When Evelyn needed help, you raped her. Could have also broken her neck. Hung up her head like a chandelier till it started to rot. <laughs> Instead, I took her to a ripper. Was you a little something in return? Yeah, no. She should be grateful. And so should you. Hmm. Here's my token of gratitude. They heard something. Yeah, he doesn't get the squirming. He's gotta die. Alright, girl, we did it. You okay? The ground floor to get out of this place. To the victor. Now we see whether Perales will be able to realize the Almost felt like the world a better place once he died. Make no mistake, it is. It is. It was so fucking strong. World did change, though. All the people he could have hurt, they're all safe now. Think of that. I'll never even know they were in danger. What's the matter? What's going on? It's nothing. Okay, is there nothing I can do if you don't tell me? <laughs> Guess that's that. Oh, you're screwing with my head. There's that tongue. Yelling at me. Okay, well, Woodman's dealt with, but we're still planning on taking over Clouds, right? The Moxes are going to take it over? Gotta get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. For a minute there, thought you were about to call it quits. V, I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule. Same as Michael's empathy. Hmm. 
Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. So, when now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. You're welcome, girl. You're welcome. Level 33. Okay. So it looks like there's a mission that might be above us. So it might be in the mega building. Let's go ahead and do a quick save. We've got a little bit of time in this episode left. Let's see if we can go back up. Powerless. Not anymore. Experience all of Chromanticore's 16 new flavors and make set up. Body dog. Shit, is this the main mission? Meet Hanako at Embers? I don't think so, but maybe? If it is, we're not doing that. <laughs> oh, shit! Keep it together, V. How's it going? Okay, so I guess we can't do more at clouds. I was gonna see if I could try and do it again. And pick the other person, but that doesn't seem to be a thing. Congress Street. Mm. All right. Well, let's see. Oh, so that message did give us a mission. Okay, this was our friend from Arasaka calling us. These are not very well written to remind me what the mission is. A voice from beyond the grave? Like... I get it, it's a nice bit of flair, but you didn't actually, like, remind me very well of what the mission was. Like, I had to think about that for a second. Like, what is this? <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, our friend who called us. He wants us to uh, help him take out his boss, which I'm down for. And this one is to go after Adam. Oh, dude, we got a lot of really cool missions that we can start working on, huh? Which one do we want to do? Let's go for our revenge first. Our revenge on Arasaka and uh, the lady who ousted us basically now we've got a bunch of perk points I like that. Ooh, I really like that.
Yeah, some of this stuff might be kind of nice. Getting some health back when we, uh... When we're running around. Let's make our bleeding chances better, and then we can build towards this. So, 30% chance to apply bleeding, and then we can do this. That'll be a good synergy, I think. I think this is where we're going to end this episode. So, thank you all for being What's here. Your problem? Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.